You're about to see AutoCoder create an entire application straight from requirements, front end, back end, complete with a dynamic flow diagram and the best part, multi roles. As in, you can create an admin screen and a user screen all within here with like one sentence. Let's get into it. So let's start with an idea. I tell AutoCoder, create a task management platform with team logins, project dashboards and progress tracking. But instead of just adding this in the first try, I refine it using the improve prompt button on AutoCoder, which automatically populates it to add functional requirements as well as a page design. And remember, the more specific your prompt, the better the build. So if we then hit generate, it will open up here, which is a requirement list. Now you can see on the right hand side is the standard chat box and on the left hand side is a requirement list. This is where AutoCoder is going to generate the requirements, the specifications for the application, which you can then approve or change. So whilst it's loading this up, let's go and have a look at Spark Vibe. So Spark Vibe is essentially a platform within AutoCoder, which allows you to share your different websites and applications that you've made as well as remix others. So you can browse what others have built, clone their apps and remix them in your own workspace. Now here they're loaded into categories for example landing pages, e-commerce, e-learning, CRMs and even portfolios. We can even order these by the number of remixes or likes to see what's most popular. So let's search for travel agency and you can see here AutoCoders creation pops up. Now we can either preview this, so go and check it out, or we can remix it, essentially turning it into our own application. So let's do that. So this here is one of AutoCoder's demo projects, the travel agency app. As you can see, it has the front end with booking pages, destination cards, customer login, as well as a back end where you've got this full system with authentication, database models, and even forms, all auto-generated and it spins up instantly. And then if we look on the right hand side, you can see that there's this flow diagram. Now this is really unique to AutoCoder. I think it adds a great piece of UI, which really is the main differentiator for these types of Five Golden platforms. There are so many platforms, what makes them unique now is their ability to create a really good user experience, which I think AutoCoder have nailed here. So you can actually use these items on the flow diagram to go directly to the different sites and then we can flick over to the back end and do the exact same thing there as well. Now as I said we're going to remix this so let's just do a simple change let's introduce dark mode. So we'll let that run and then you can see that it then changes this to have dark mode we can now actually deploy this as our own application but I'll show you how to do that instead on our own application. So let's go and see how it's getting on. Now we can see here that it's generated a requirements list and this is for both the front end and the back end. So if we check them out you can see the diagram as well as what each item on the flow diagram is. Now if you're happy with this you can just go ahead and generate demo and you can just let it run. It will tell you how long it's roughly going to be so put it on, go get a cup of coffee, come back and it will be ready to go. And here we go our very own task management platform. Now as you can see here we have a front end and a back end with the flow diagram all looking good, nice dynamic UI as well. Now a new feature AutoCoder have been working on is this multi-role feature. So the ability, for example, to have users and admins. So let's go ahead and make an amendment to our own application so that we can have admins who will control who can use it and users who will use the task management system. Now this is super helpful if you're creating something like a website for exams, for training, or like for this here for different projects or anything at all because any enterprise, any company often have administrators and users. And so now you're not hacking together permissions manually, you're going to actually allow AutoCoder to handle this all for you. And this along with the UX is another major reason why AutoCoder is so good. And there we go, you can see now that we have the user portion as well as the admin portion. So in the admin portion, we can see the administration dashboard with the number of users, the number of teams, for example. And within the users side of things, we can actually see the progress tracking for the actual tasks at hand. So AutoCoder has divided it up between admin and users, just like we asked. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually deploy this application so that you can go and use it. or 
your employees or your clients. So what we have to do is click on the deploy button and then give it a name. So I'm going to call it AI look for good reasons. And then you can decide whether you want to share it to Spark Vibe or not. And then click publish and that's you. It will just go and work its magic and deploy it into the cloud where you can then go and use it. For example, here, AI look dot autocoder.cc will host this here. And if we head back to the home page, you can then see that actually this application that I've just created exists in Spark Vibe for you to go and remix. And there you have it, your full production ready, multi-user Vibe Coded app, easy as that. And now I've tried plenty of AI builders, but AutoCoder does feel different. I love the UX and I love that it delivers real projects that you would actually use in the real world. None of this vibe code your favorite idea. It's let's create stuff that's actually going to drive real business value, which is this next cycle of the AI hype wave essentially. It's going to be how can we actually leverage this to create stuff that delivers real value. So anyway, if you want to go and test this out yourself, the links will be in the description. First link in the description, go check out AutoCoder and maybe even go and remix my app. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.